Yeah. All right, good sir. Right. How are we doing? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. All things um, considered. Well, yeah. E3 is two days ago, maybe. Uh, two days, Wednesday, Thursday. Not even two days when we were filming this. It was actually three days, and it'll be longer. Not even. <laughs> so, you might not remember, but we did a video a while ago talking about our dream Animal Crossing game. Mm. And I think it was actually two years ago at this point. Really? Do you remember ago. what we said in that video? I remember... <laughs> it, was like 40, I feel like it was a 40 minute video yeah, so. things might have changed you said a lot I don't think all of our dreams have come true just yet not but not quite Animal Crossing New Horizons is here it's still so weird <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a while for that title to sound natural you know I, I don't see a lot of the hardcore, hardcore Animal Crossing fans telling the real truth no, here they're not it's a lot of good positive vibes which I'm all into you know we finally got an Animal Crossing game oh yeah we been always waiting. wanted. It's been like seven years since New Leaf. But yeah, six years in the making, 2013, right? Then you're going to have some higher expectations for it, right? Yeah, it's been seven years. <laughs> six years. They got to gotta give us something. But Amiibo uh, Festival, Happy Home Designer. There are two strikes. Those were two strikes right well, now. Well, I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> Happy Home Designer. It's... Happy Home Designer was good. It was alright. It had some great elements that they could. It'll definitely carry over, over into this game. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely. Not. So the two the things, <laughs> the good things that Happy Home Designer gave us were the grid system for decorating. Yeah. Real easy, simple to use. You and could then see, popping your character out and, and moving furniture all freehand. But. And you could see what could stack on top of things and whatnot too. But no, not not even gonna inherit that. So Happy Home Designer no. did nothing for us. Amiibo Ex Festival. Amiibo Festival. Gave us... Possibly Amiibo. We haven't heard anything on it, but I imagine... It be Amiibo. Imagine the Amiibo have to do something. Probably, yeah. But now, with the direction we're going, it might be something stupid, useless. Because I can't imagine having a campsite on that island. It's not... A bear looks big enough to put a town on, let alone you know, having an additional little campsite area, like a New Leaf. Okay. The campsite for... Well, you remember in Welcome Amiibo, there's like that place off to the side. Okay, yeah. You'd yeah. scan Amiibo and they'd come with their RVs. Yeah, that's true. They're definitely not coming back. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want them to... You know, I don't know what Amiibo we're going to do, but you imagine all those Amiibo cards and Amiibo yeah. have to come into play. There's a lot of Animal Crossing Somehow. Amiibo now. Maybe they give you wallpapers in your Nook phone. Mm. So we got a trailer, and we got some... Treehouse gameplay. Treehouse gameplay, like 27 minutes of it. By the way, I hated the the translator in that gameplay. Did she annoy you? I she annoyed me. I should have watched. Closer. She should have watched it closer. Yeah. Hmm. She just said a lot of ums. Uh, I was just so enamored by seeing the Animal Crossing. Thing. Yeah. Even did you watch all that gameplay? I remember I saw the two player co op. I saw a bit of crafting. I just sort of had it on like after E three. I was just watching it and talking about banjo. And <laughs> you know, it was to the side, but important okay so I kind of went through I went through the gameplay I went through the trailer everything I could garner of like new All features right. and so you hear? we could break it down and possible concerns possible possible good vibes <laughs> we'll see um, so the I mean the biggest thing is it starts with a human voice and it's like a nook yeah no I didn't <laughs> think that was Animal Crossing not until she said nook yeah the Nooking Getaway Package Charter Flight. It's like, we will now be arriving at your destination. I was like, what? What game is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because they had teased it and they were like, it's yeah. a game everyone's been waiting for more information mm -hmm. on. I was like, oh, it, was like it was all black. I was like, oh, is this, like, is this Metroid? <laughs> and Human Girl. Uh, so and there was the, uh, the Beach Getaway Package or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. Getaway Package Charter Flight. Mm. So you can stand on rocks by the water. That's yeah, a nice that's thing. true. That was literally the <laughs> biggest feature to show off was there was a rock on the water. Um, I mean that's it's all right. <laughs> Not much going on. Okay, so you can set up a tent, and then right. trees drop branches. By the way, yeah, that, that was the first thing I noticed. I was like, why are there trees well, dropping you're branches? Crafting. Yeah, is a big word. Crafting. That, uh, you know, had to come up eventually. That's that's what I I mean. Once you started seeing, like, different... There was, like, 
hardwood, softwood mm-hmm. things. Yeah. And there was like some sort of twigs and stones and clay. Yeah. So it was like that's that's very reminiscent of Pocket Camp. Yeah. As soon as I saw that, and then they got into the it does look thing. Sort of more like a sequel to Pocket Camp than New Leaf in ways, that's which the, is what worried me at first. That's the concern for me yeah. still, because. So far, we haven't got too much on this island. It's a pretty bare island. Mm. And the, the whole idea is that you're starting New Horizons and you're starting on a clean slate. Yeah. But also... I feel like the slate looks kind of small. <laughs> there wasn't a lot there. Yeah, Which, it was an slate. E3 demo, so you know. Sure. An optimistic doubt. Well... Um, I feel like they're keeping some cards close to their chest. For sure. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I mean the whole theory that was on Reddit of like maybe... The island is only one of the options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The deserted island. And we had, I compiled all that stuff in that tweet where it was like, he gave that mountain allegory where he's like, oh, if a player was living in the woods all alone, then he wouldn't build a convenience store next to him. So that could have just been, you know, an allegory, or that could be the reality we're seeing. Yeah, which, I mean... New Horizons is plural, if you want to get real semantic with it. Yeah. And the emphasis on travel sort of is weird. When you're only going to an island, I mean, it still makes sense because you're obviously not, you're not going to call it New Horizon anyway. Yeah, it's just Horizons. True. So if it was just an island, it still makes sense because it's like New yeah. Horizons. You'd think you're... like I just feel like it'd be a boat if it was only an island. You know, I think maybe this is just their excuse to have a different mode of transportation. Also, though, true, because we've had boats, not as the main ones, but we did. Yeah, so we've boats. had boats. We've had buses. We've had cars so airplane yeah airplane was the last one to mark off there unless they went so Captain went and got his pilot's license yeah, he's got in the be. seven years and rover will be there I'm sure on the plane <laughs> and he won't get off maybe he'll be like one of the uh, regular the frequent flyer oh <laughs> yeah he's just, <laughs> like... <laughs> just be like oh man I got some great well, I benefits these, I love on. these nook miles they're great <laughs> yeah so, Do you want more about Nook Miles since the yes or no it goes on? Mm-hmm. So the the whole th- another thing is that they showed Tom Nook's little tent, mm-hmm. and they're like, "This is where you go to the workbench <laughs> to craft," but it's there's not much tent. going on there. No. And obviously, you can expand that, I'm sure, but I mean, to start off, well, because because Timmy was selling like three items. Yeah, I noticed, and it wasn't like the stuff wasn't visible. Yeah, you had to go and ask, "What are you selling?" or whatever. And he, he had two pieces of furniture and then some tools yeah. and then a bunch of like gardening things. Which I hope when you do upgrade Tom Nook's tent, they bring back being able to see the furniture because that was always really cool. Yeah. Walking into like Nookingtons and I'm wondering, browsing the aisles. Because the, there was two other things other than the workbench that seemed distinct and that was like an ATM machine it seems. Mm-hmm. And then there was a question mark sort of chest going on yeah. there. I don't know if that's... So I, I get the feeling Anything. from that. What I was thinking about the ATM reminded me of like the Nook points from City Folk. Mm-hmm. You know where you get bonuses for doing that. I know Nook miles were confirmed as a thing, so maybe that's where you you cash out your points for little valuables. Do you think is that um, unless you do that on the phone, then I have no idea. So you think Nook miles like it has like a reward system? Like you I think pay it a must. bunch of. Is it like you get a certain amount and you automatically get this next thing? Or it's like, or you'd you, like can, you spend them? There's like a shop of Nook Miles points. Uh, there's no <laughs> way of knowing right now, but. I don't know. Either way, Nook Miles seems interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's like a little achievement system, basically. Reminds me of the. I, for, I meant to look up with it, like the cat tokens or from New Leaf's Welcome Amiibo little expansion. See, I didn't play much of Welcome to Bebo, so... There was that dog he'd give you the, the tasks for the day. It was, like, pick three flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you did that, yeah, you'd get, like, the little coupons that you could spend. Yeah. So I assume it'll be like that, but... And I'm assuming it's going to be a, a never-ending thing. Yeah. Because I always like when there's a set amount of things to mm-hmm. do and I can finish it. But this, I'm sure, will just, like, automatically... Probably some weekly tasks, some daily new things. It's like, you've walked five miles, now walk ten. 15, 20, nice. But it's Just like you, you get awarded for doing things that you didn't get yeah. awarded for before, is what they said. So who knows? That's, I mean, it's Animal Crossing, probably so like, it will probably never end. It's probably like talk to villagers a certain amount of times, they'll do stuff too. Yeah. 
So what else? Reach level five friendship with Fifi. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing I would like more. Of a, I said that in the Dream Animal Crossing video is that I wanted more mm-hmm. like social or like friendship development. Yeah, I do like that, but I don't like putting like a number to it like how pocket candles are. <laughs> yeah, it's like sort of weird numbers. it's like oh your friendship leveled up like that's not how and then you can max how life it out works yeah and, ma- and it doesn't mean that you can max it out and then just which like, is where you get like their picture in the other animal crossing games. Right. but i hope it's not like you've reached level 10 friendship and you can now wear the see i don't cube hat <laughs> <laughs> i don't mind something tangible that like shows clear progress like mm. in room factory tides of destiny of course oh. There's yeah, naturally each each character had like a meter, no matter like the like, Sims almost. Yeah, no matter what, no no matter whether you could romance them or anything, you had a meter yeah. so you could tell like when you give them stuff, they get a certain amount of points, and that's something you don't you don't really see in most like Harvest Moon esque games. Mm. They I don't think really Stardew Valley's got kind of one like that. The hearts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But yeah, it's like sometimes hard to tell. Yeah. If you're, especially if you're not hardcore into it and like looking up guides and stuff, mm-hmm. it's like, is anything I'm doing really doing this, anything? Yeah. If you see that little progress, you're like, all right, well that did yeah. something. I'll keep doing it. And like, I don't know, because so far it seems like almost like a watered down version. I don't know if they'd have anything expanded mm-hmm. with interacting, but maybe they'll carry over the hearts thing. Response. Perhaps. Though I don't see anywhere so far that you would access that unless... That's true. Unless there's like an app on the phone that they just haven't shown yet. Because there was a lot of room on that phone, so there's got to be a few more. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering how that works. It's like, maybe that's that's your incentive is he keeps the cycle going. Is like, you get a certain amount of miles, I'll give you another app on your phone so you use your phone more and get more miles. Oh, they did... The character dug up an entire tree with the shovel. Yeah, they just straight up. There was no. <laughs> What's the point of the axe then? They had getting flim- soft wood. <laughs> oh, I guess. Because the axe didn't even chop down the trees in that gameplay did, demo. Did you show? Just because it was flimsy instead of like a yeah, strong. Yeah, flimsy axe, axe, which was like just like stone, stone axe. Yeah. But did they show when they got the wood? Was that just from shaking it though? No, they would chop it like three times. They and would chop it. Okay. And then if you mm-hmm. strike it a fourth time, no wood comes down. So I guess that's what it's for now, is the axe. Yeah, the axe is just for... So what do you, like, if you don't want a tree, you just scoop it up and <laughs> throw it in the garbage? Or, but you, it's just so if weird. If you axe it a certain amount of time, will it still fall down, you think? Not that they've shown, I don't think. But it's like you reach 50 you, axe hits, you think it would probably fall down? <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing with the better axes, maybe, but... Because, like, yeah, better axes will actually be sharp. It's yeah. like you're just hitting this thing. But... It looks like they're kind of shifting away from that and using trees as more of a resource than a decoration. Yeah, which is concerning. And with these resources, we haven't seen like fossils. We haven't seen gyroids. Mm. Like a lot of the. the yeah, because like you're gonna dig up fossils, turn them into oil for your. Yeah, everything's your gonna be something to craft. Gonna be, yeah, yeah. You can take these dinosaur bones and craft them into a, <laughs> a dinosaur net. <laughs> which catches butterflies at twice the rate yeah but I mean there's clearly a lot they haven't shown yeah we haven't even seen characters like Isabel at all and they have confirmed they'll be back in interviews mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean they can't all be back though it's yeah. possible that the uh, what's his name Leaf the gardener Leaf he might have been moved oh, out oh poor Leaf cause like they had all the gardening yeah. things there True. it seemed and like weeds don't shop. seem that bad in this game. Like they're crafting material. <laughs> yeah, you don't weeds. And you you just, take them and use them for yeah. things. They were like decorating with the weeds. So what? So I'm what's a, the penalty for not playing it? Well, no, I'm interested to see who made the cut. Yeah. You know, like, and to what extent we see them? Will they? There's that big dirt plot. Well, kind of. Yeah, big. it's kind of. <laughs> it's a little big. But <laughs> that's where Tom Nook's tent was. And so is that going to be? It seems like where you put other yeah. things because it was just a, his tent and then the bulletin board. And that big like speaker system. So which I guess yeah. is like, hey guys, it's toy day coming. Also, grass jingle. They showed Tommy actually like walking around yeah. in his hot, which was like, he was like, hanging out. So and I guess he had a flag. Around. He was holding a flag. I guess he's just like advertising their store <laughs> or something. Their tent. You go stand out there. 
could be. But that's actually pretty. Yeah, pretty that is unusual. cool. Maybe the shopkeepers will be when they're not working. They'll be villagers. I've always wanted that. It seems clearly that Tom Nook will always be in there, though. Yeah, yeah Tom, Tom Nook doesn't. Never, do he doesn't anything. get a day off. He doesn't. Yeah. But I always thought that would be cool mm-hmm. to see them walking around. I know. Just today, there was an interview where they said Rossetti was not coming back for his old job, but he was going to be looking for new work. So, it looks like they've got a plan for Rossetti that's not... Because there's, <laughs> there's an autosave in this game. I don't know if that oh, came up. Really? Hey, what are you playing? We're doing something right now. Can we... Oh, I'm sorry. I got some up? Well, there's an autosave in this game now. I did not know that. Yeah, that How did you find confirmed. this out? Who confirmed I it? I saw this was like a Reddit post of an interview at mm-hmm. E3, but Rossetti will not be back because the game saves for you. So you can't reset anymore, which is pretty big for Animal Crossing. If you mess something up, you're, you're screwed. Yeah, and that was like a, an iconic feature of the first game. It's yeah. like you've never seen anything like that. Before. Never. But now Rossetti's looking for new work. Yeah, they said he's looking for a new job. Construction? Just like general construction? Could, could be. Like he'll, be, he'll come there when you're building, setting up new buildings potentially. Oh, that could be. Because he yeah. did have the construction sort of. Yeah, he's got area. like a hard hat and. Yeah. So. Don Rossetti will help him out. What else? You can pole vault over rivers now. True. So maybe, <laughs> maybe no more bridges? I feel like you got to be able to build bridges eventually, because the if, villagers aren't going to be pole vaulting. Imagine all, right the, all the animals are always pole vaulting around. Like the, I don't want to see a penguin go and pole vault over the river. Maybe I do, but. But yeah, I guess that actually makes sense because they want to have the idea of a deserted island. Yeah. And they want to have rivers, so you have to start with no no bridges. And then you got to build up. So it's like yeah. you have to use that. But then, is there no use for it? I guess you can still. So cross wherever. It's pretty nice. But also, do you have, it looks like you have to equip it, though. Yeah. That's not very nice. So you it's nice whip it out and then do it. Which is scarce. Which is scarce. 20 inventory slots, I counted. Plus two from a new leaf. Is that right? 18. Or 18? Yeah. Wow, great. So uh, we're really getting, <laughs> getting ground there with inventory. I always wanted the... Um, my, one, another one of the things I said in the last video was yeah. I wanted a toolbox. Put all the nice. tools in to save a lot of space. Because we gained two spaces, but now we're going to lose like eight to various crafting materials. There's Yeah, there's no indication of that, but I mean, it seemed like something you could be able to craft. That would yeah. be a nice idea. It could be. Um, there was also... Oh, I was going to go off the inventory tangent. It seems like there's okay. a tab in the inventory for clothes. Oh yeah, I did. So that might just be where you, what you're wearing shows up, but maybe also you can save like multiple outfits in there at a time. But how would that how would that make sense? Like you're well, carrying a bunch of <laughs> I don't know. How's anything ever made sense in the inventory? Well, also yeah, we also know we're gonna have clothes customization. We haven't seen the yeah. Apple Sisters yet. They gotta be back. Do you think they'll set up a place in this that all these people like Blathers and Able Sisters mm-hmm. will set up shops in here That's, or? That's my best guess, because... Well, they phone it in, literally, and you have they to call them. Oh, yeah, they could call you on the Nook phone. And be like, yeah, can That'd I be get so this lame, shirt? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Blathers. I mean, I guess you had mailing fossils in the first game. But if, like, oh, go visit our virtual museum on the phone. <laughs> I feel like the Able Sisters have to be back. Yeah. Because maybe it doesn't work with the Desert Island aesthetic too much, but... I feel like the shirt, like being able to create your own designs mm-hmm. is something that would... Yeah, that's been there since like the first one, so... So and you, you wouldn't really make it's sense to do that, unless it's like, you put it, do it over the web. <laughs> do do yeah, design. it's like, they just start up like Redbubble. Yep. And then... <laughs> the lamest... The Nook phone already concerned me, because right now what we have is not very exciting. Like, you have the Nook Miles, but yeah. other than that you have, what, the camera, the map... friends... Call Islander, which is literally just for the co-op thing. It calls yeah. up someone that's on the same system, and then you just hand them Joy-Con. So that's not very exciting. Wait, did it say Call Islander? Call Islander, yeah. Like, pretty much beats out the different locations theory, then. What do you mean? If it says Islander on the phone, you know? I don't think that Unless that changes it. depending on where you live, like Call Mountaineer, you know? <laughs> call Mountaineer. <laughs> Mm. That is kind of a snag in that. <laughs> Dang. Well, 
<laughs> so I never had, for that too. But. I never had too much hope in that theory, though. Yeah. That like it wouldn't be too distinct though, because I knew it wouldn't give you like a full on city to live in. Mm-hmm. I was just hoping just for like, like more of a forest, more of a vibe, because that's yeah. what I've always liked about the series, like the forester. Call your forester. Call forester. <laughs> <laughs> so, with those minimal apps, seemingly that's how you'll start with all your apps. Yeah. Um, that's a little weird because I would have hoped if you're gonna have a phone, which I'm already unsure of. But if you're gonna have it, you feel like you wanna actually be able to call yeah, someone. Do something on it. Like maybe some sort of online feature. To like send a little message. Online? To, yeah. You mean you want more than just inviting people over? Yeah, and, doing and now, nothing? now the concern is maybe you have eight people who came up and looked at the sunset. Yeah, they all stood on that rock. But what do you do? What there? else is there to do? Because if you can't <laughs> go to the island, you're, you're already there, so. Yeah, and I was already hoping to expand that. I was like, I don't know if it's enough mm. to like keep doing that every time you have someone. But that was at least something. Like then what you'd is have something? Maybe Tortimer has like the mainland. He t- took over. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the opposite of New Leaf. Yeah, and like you're not really the mayor, I guess now. Like, oh, you're just you're setting. You just but you've you've like, this you build this island from the scratch. But so. you build it from scratch. You just have no power. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because you have you have like all the power, but you don't have any. Cause... But you don't have any. Yeah. Oh, making paths was huge. Making paths. I've yes. always wanted that from Animal Crossing. That was probably my forty minute dream Animal Crossing tidbit. Yeah. Because it's just a basic thing that we've had to do with this makeshift <laughs> crap with the floating designs. The You'd have like the one character in your house who just had like pads in his inventory. <laughs> Yeah. It, was, it was dumb so I'm glad to see that and in another interview that I just read apparently when Aunt villagers move in mm-hmm. they'll try they'll get you're okay for where they're gonna move in and you can tell them like no I want you to move in here and they'll listen to you so, to what extent do you say no like do you say no and give you another spot no I think it's spot. a or do you what I it? remember reading was you can show them where you want them to build so imagine okay. sort of like how when you're leading around Isabel and Tom Nook in the beginning of New Leaf so you literally can pick wherever you want yeah. to go. Okay. Which is great, because if yeah. you have like a flower garden, freaking chow can't move in on top of it and break that everything. That makes me want to do the weirdest thing possible. I want to see how weird you can get it. Like, can you yeah. just put them all in a line, like on the side, <laughs> just awkward spots? You'll put, probably like... <laughs> put one all the way down <laughs> the beach, all the way, one all the way over here. Put one across a river, never build any bridges, and see how long <laughs> it takes him to snap before he goes insane. You woke up. Yeah, okay. I don't, <laughs> they, you build your civilization on the left side, and the right is just like Goldie alone. Yeah, but that's the problem is the island's too small for it to have enough yeah, of an effect. She'll just be like, oh, I'll, I'll walk over. No, nope, there's no bridges. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Yeet. <laughs> Paul vaults over. She knows she's whipping that out. Well, I want to see it. I hope, the, I hope the animals pull one. They have to be able to, right? It's going to look really stupid, but. Well, also, I'm sure that the town's designed to where you can get to where you need to be without yeah. having to go over the rivers, but I don't know. Because otherwise, the, the townspeople would have to have them, yeah. too. And there's cliffs, too. But we haven't seen any way of going up and down yeah. those yet. It could just be a visual thing. Cut off there's the like There's a lot of space up there. It'd be a shame to... Because the it island's already shame. so small. You can't... That's like a third of the island you're just throwing away. Yeah. You can also pick flowers, and the flowers stay there, so <laughs> True. Mm, that's cool. For crafting, of course. Yes. And you, you can make little wreaths on your door. Just True. Wreaths, and you can put a little flower thing around your head. Right. You can put furniture outside, which is a big thing mm-hmm. now. True, that's our big one. That's, a little, that's what people wanted for a while. Really focusing on the outdoor decoration in this one, I think. Mm-hmm. So look, look to see more furniture based around that instead of like new indoor sets, probably. Yeah. Which is also another thing I'm like interested in how how big the furniture catalog is and is there yeah is it going to expand catalog? at all? Can you order furniture you've already owned from Timmy and Tommy? Or? That's what I'm saying. Is there a catalog? I noticed when I was looking on the thing that there were like check marks next to things. Yeah. So that things seems to be like ownership. Maybe. Maybe that's what the ATMs for then, in Tom Nooks. ATM? You think that? No. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably an app. Amazon. Yeah. 
that would be one thing that would make sense in an yeah. app. But then why would you need to go to Tom Nook's? And why would you need to own it first to buy it? <laughs> this is true. No weird yeah. thing. I guess it never made sense with the catalog either. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no. That's true. Yeah. What else? I'm starting to picking now. That you can move cool. furniture in half units. That's true. That's one. Thank thing. you, Happy Home Design. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we talked about the airport at the bottom, kind of. Sort of it ties into the dirt spot. There's a little airport logo. Down I'm sure bottom. it'll be for multiplayer. Yeah, and go over and do nothing at other people's towns. Islands, new yeah, towns. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe you can fly to the city, but that sounds horrible and. Like, there's no way. Fly to the city. Like, you know how you take the bus to the city and city folk? Yeah. Like, there's it no. Doesn't seem practical to yeah. fly to a city. No, that's, that's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> You know, bikes have not been explored in Animal Crossing. That's true. Maybe the next one will go from a plane to a bike. <laughs> you just hop on a cab and bike. Yeah. Or a motorcycle. You're in a little sidecar. Yeah. For no reason. But. Well, a plane's big enough to fit, you know, eight people. So maybe you all get on the plane and then fly to, like, Disneyland. But yeah. I just want something more. Like, people weren't a huge fan of city folk and the idea of having the city separate. Yeah. Yeah, but, like having it connected. Um, so. At the same time, the island does not do enough for me right now as yeah. it stands. It's very Even bare. showing the more developed version, it was like, yeah, you, you spruced it up, but is there still any? Mm. Is there really anything going on there? I want, because like at least in New Leaf, you could go up and you have the little plaza going on. Yeah, it looks nice. It's all like stone baths and. On. And I, I always wanted, I wanted more from that too, because like there were places like Club LOL which like aren't really that. Like, why would a comedy club be on a des- deserted island? You know, like. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying. I want so many somewhere. of these things just don't really make sense now with this new setting. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The island, as it, by itself, it is not, it's not strong enough of a concept for yeah. me. Because like you know, there's only so much crafting you can do to spend mm-hmm. your time, especially if you have people come over. It's just like what. Help me, help me pick up items yeah. so I can craft my stuff. Oh, I need more hardwood. We can all chop together. And... Just like fine, you know, it gives another thing to do when you mm-hmm. log on. But like, I've always liked the island as a side thing. I'm not really sold on living on it full time. Yeah. Like, it was a side thing in GameCube. It was great. You had to have a Game Boy Advance connector or whatever. Yeah, it's always been supplemental. And they it's brought it back in New Leaf and it was always a little... Secondary thing, yeah. So I guess the island tours are going to then, mm-hmm. like the the captain's family. But yeah, captain's family. They're probably dead, driven off by a ton of real estate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's so many like side characters that they added in New Leaf. Yeah. Because they had so many different areas going on, but and now you strip it down to an island. Where are all these people? And why would all these people in the first place? Yeah, be coming here. All come to. And there's this? that's the thing with like events too. Like on Easter, why would the Easter Bunny flying. He's flying to the just island. for Easter. You know, it's especially, concerning. it's concerning. If you haven't developed it all, there's no way the Easter Bunny is coming to your des- desert island. Yeah, maybe. Like, if why you do, maybe you? if you don't develop it enough, the, the yeah. bunny does not care enough to come. Or like the, the festival parent, the uh-huh. peacock, he's not showing up. It, like literally, you get you get a call as as the king of the island. Yeah. They're like, yeah, she's not coming. There's <laughs> like two people in your town. And there's nothing going on. What do you mean he's not coming? Work on it. He's not coming. <laughs> Work on it. Maybe we'll get him next year. Look, Zipper T doesn't come to islands with less than six <laughs> villagers, all right? I'm sorry. I'd be down for that. That's more realistic than, <laughs> than just showing sad, up. sad, because nobody would go <laughs> to a stupid island. That's what you get for going to a deserted island, because it's Tom Nook's That's package. Funny. I do love that uh, that Isabel Smash trailer, where Tom Nook was like, Oh man, looks like everybody's off smashing. Mm-hmm. Better get home ready for them when they get back, and then he sends you to a deserted <laughs> island with nothing there. Yeah, that's a big yikes. I don't. A jerk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just the whole concept is concerning to me. It's just concerning. Uh, okay, so DIY recipes. I, I wrote down that you can get them. You can get them from animals. Yeah, you can get them like. I know she digs up a clam and she's like, "Oh, this reminds me of a recipe I once knew." Yeah, whenever you get new items, you can, yeah, and then you can also apparently purchase them by themselves. This is all they mentioned in this treehouse live. You can purchase them separately. 
But I mean, it's cool that I mean animals can give them to you. Yeah. At least that's something. Like, oh, this is my mother's spaghetti recipe. Here you go. Mm-hmm. And I Command did... a bookcase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice they had the medicine still in the yeah. when we talked to Tommy. So. I feel like people are gonna get stung by bees a lot more in this game because I stayed away from shaking trees. But if I, you gotta craft, you know. Uh huh. And I'm I'm I won't hope you have a lot to do with the animals. Yeah. Because that's something I kind of liked in GameCube, the GameCube version, that you could actually go up and ask for stuff. Okay, give me some more. Like, all right, I left my Game Boy over at a. I left my, I left my box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest wonderful. stuff. My glasses case. I left once my glasses so case glasses over to case. So many glasses cases for these animals who don't wear glasses. Yeah, never. But that that was great. I thought like that is something to do. Mm-hmm. And in an island, a deserted island, all you have is the social politics <laughs> to keep you going. Yeah, or the animals gonna try to usurp your power. That would be great. And That'd become be the new leader. Mm-hmm. Then you see them hop around the pole vault, and you just like. I just want a world where it's like. Just because you're the human, you're not automatically the superior. Yeah. You know, show these animals some respect. Like, everyone can have an election. Yeah, like playable animal characters. Like, you know. Well, that's too far. Well, <laughs> that's I, really I just want to uh, be in a not in a position of power for once now. Yeah. Just be like, no, just no, miss no, the Goldie simple days is, of Goldie's the mayor now. And we have to deal with her regime Goldie. until we overthrow well, or elect a new one. Goldie put up the early bird ordinance. I guess. Uh, you gotta like, start playing early because like that's some, what Goldie said. Yep. Yeah. Somehow you could get like any of the animals as yeah. your leader, and they all have their own they're agenda to push. They're different secret politics. Yeah. Like they're really hard. Camel frog just starts killing off all the sheep villagers. Like, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't expect this. The camera does not se- use a no, selfie, just... so it doesn't make sense. So why do you have a camera on your phone that then activates the overworld camera that like, it just zooms out slightly? And then you can put filters on this somehow. You would think with like the simple graphics, which we haven't talked about, but they are pretty simplistic. Maybe change the camera angles up a little bit. Like mm-hmm. it's sort of getting to a Pokemon point where like, all right, we've had the same camera angle since the GameCube. When are we getting? We haven't though. We haven't. Cause well, GameCube was the little acre system, GameCube but had acres. It was still the same angle almost. No, because yeah. New Leaf. If you look at GameCube, it's more top-down, isometric sure. style. New Leaf, you get the like, rolly. When are we getting the free camera? For never. Pricing. Never. You don't think? Well, that's the next one. That's when they go into open world style, like yeah. Pokemon, Sword and the Shield, and area. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. They'll have a wild area of animals. <laughs> <laughs> They're all running around, and you can whistle on and they'll <laughs> charge you. That's my dream Animal Crossing. Is just take the wild area of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that is your town. It's your town. Island. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer <laughs> that probably. I noticed something that was interesting in the some things you could craft. First of all, like the items they showed so far that they could craft, that they had the recipes for. They kind of looked kind of garbage. Yeah. They're just like wooden. Oh yeah, the original tools all look terrible. In like even flimsy the, rod, flimsy. Even the things furniture pieces for outside that you could craft yeah. didn't seem great but there was one thing that caught my eye it was a tiny tiny library did you notice this I didn't see the tiny library no I mean it takes in order to craft you need five wood and three books oh so books three are furniture. material there were fur- it showed the furniture icon and it said three and the little leaf books yeah. so you have to actually have three pieces of furniture that are books and you put them together, and then what? You have a library, and you can actually take out the books. Oh, maybe there's books you can read. That be that, that has to neat. be books. Yeah. Which because it's like a furniture item that's interesting. And that might be a way of introducing some of the NPCs. Like maybe Leaf has like a gardening magazine you can buy. And that's all he has. Yeah, probably because like, face. he's useless. He was pretty useless. In uh, the yeah, he was. He was a little. His story got taken over by the Nook Brothers anyway. So. Uh, what? 
That's what I want. I want in-depth like backstories in each of them, and like yeah. if you if you don't support your local economy, they get bought out by the corporation. Well, that's not what I was thinking, but I was thinking if you befriend them enough, they'll go into their backstory, and it's like yeah, like how the Abel sisters used to do. Yeah, but I'm talking in-depth like cutscene, and you trigger a cutscene. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like a, ah, this reminds me. It's some deep backstory. It's like a dark, rainy night. Leaf is <laughs> running through the mud. And then it's like Blood suddenly, suddenly you're entirely sympathetic of, of Leaf. You're like, oh my Never god. <laughs> my favorite character is Leaf now because he had such an arc. Oh my. I'm really glad I bought his Better Homes and Gardens magazines. Made them into a <laughs> yes. library. I'll buy everything he puts out now. Also, I noticed there were a couple of different tents other th- that were different yeah. looking than yours. So maybe you can pick. But, like, I mean, they were out in the in the island, so I don't know if that means they were I think that's other... how villagers move in, probably. Okay. In tents. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Is it yeah. animals move in, or is that, like, other human people? Well, that could be it, too. Because, you know, the only animals we've seen so far have been had their own houses. So I don't know if you like can expand their house or something. But you have to imagine, like, if you get to this desert island and you have nothing, why should Goldie get here and get a two-story house right away? You know? Yeah. Did they say you start? You start with like two townspeople or something? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they probably start with tents then. Because there was the campsite in New Leaf where they just had like generic camping equipment. It's probably yeah. Like that. Two hemispheres for the first time. That's right. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's it. Which is great. That's fantastic. I wonder if on the tent point, you have to buy their house upgrades too, or is it just like over time? That's what I'm thinking. Like, can you do how much customization is there? Can you be like Goldie? You can come in here, but you only get a tent. (laughs) But this person will come in and they get a three story house. They like them so much. Goldie's in the tent. I don't, know, I don't know why Goldie's the go-to to get all she's the, like the... She's the nicest... She's dude. the face of Animal Crossing at this point, honestly. Isabelle's like, the face. Isabel. She's been in one game. It's not but crazy. she's iconic. Apparently in Japan, she's huge, too. Like, the user in advertising for, like, things that aren't even video game related. Like, all I'm saying is... Okay. Well... It's not deserved. You're really gonna leave Digby up here? <laughs> what is Digby gonna do? Where's Digby? Digby's Digby? gonna get tossed. <laughs> Tom Nook is the only Tom Nook gets to stay. Because he earned it. I'd love a Tom Nook arc where it's like you learn that he pushed all of these people out. Yeah. All of these. <laughs> Isabel, <laughs> all the other town, shop owners. The island didn't used to be deserted. And like the whole game, you're trying not to believe it. You don't want to believe it. Because Tom Nook, you love Tom Nook. Yeah. But then in the end, you have to come to terms with it. And you have to get justice for him, so you have to get all the animals to rally, get a petition going. And kill him. And then suddenly, like once you get him out of power, you get all the other animals. Shop but then you learn back. the dark secret that Tom Nook was only doing it to stop this unthinkable evil. <laughs> and that's when uh, Breath of the Wild 2 starts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you already, Tom Nook's in prison and you have to go back to him yeah. and you're like, I'm so sorry. And he's like, I know it is. You couldn't deal with your failures. <laughs> Where did that bring you? Right back to me. And he picks up his double sided Tom Nook sword. He holds up the handcuffs. That's <laughs> That's just what I want from Animal Crossing. Yeah. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> no, not at all. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to want. Also, so far I've noticed no memorable music. Yeah. Outside of like, there was a nice little trailer music they used for when like did the time lapse. So it was kind of nice music. I'm but sure. I listened back during the treehouse. And it was like very yeah. generic. I was like, oh, that's disappointing. Probably like six or seven new KK tracks. And where's KK at? It's probably like, KK Slider. Is he I just gonna have DJ, a, yeah. just gonna have digital? I hate music. DJ KK. Uh, unpopular opinion, maybe DJ KK sucks. I hate him. I mean, it's very it's the antithesis of what KK is exactly. He sold out. <laughs> he's, he used to be sitting on a cardboard box by the train station. Now he's a multi-millionaire. He's an, he's had an arc, but we I want to see in this game him down on the <laughs> down on his luck. Yeah, <laughs> he, he cannot find a job. He got screwed over by his record label. 
So that's how we get him to come to Desert Island. It's like, I have nothing else to go to. I'll be your musician for the island. And he walks, he follows you around playing music. <laughs> and that's the soundtrack. But eventually, by the end of the game, you will not believe the position KK Slider has found himself in. He's so happy with his life. It's great. Really turned himself around. But yeah, that's another. There's a lot of question marks here. Like, yeah. how does KK Slider get involved? Is it just an app on your phone? He's reduced to an app on the phone. So he's the KK Spotify. Slider. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's gonna be. This is what we've come to. It'd be cool if the phone could change like the background music to the old background music from like the GameCube one or Wild World. Was that app revert your uh, just like because. Yeah. <laughs> no, they never explained where the ambient music's coming from anyway. Sure. So if they were just like, yeah, here you can change your like radio station on your phone. Yeah, but I do, neat. I like the fact that different times have different music. Yeah, of course. But like it'd be like the 5 p.m. song from GameCube or the 5 p.m. song okay. from like City Folk or whatever. Or probably it's just one generic island track for this game. <laughs> it's the island song from uh, New Leaf. Mm-hmm. Da-da, da-da, da-da. <laughs> How long until you jump off the island? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it's weird that you in a game where they introduced the Nook phone for the first time, having this piece of technology, it's also the game that strips you down to yeah, an nothing. And the phone is one of the few things you get. It's weird. It is a weird combination. It doesn't really match the New yeah. Horizon theme of it's like, ooh, you gotta craft and make things. You're no, starting but, from nothing, but here's an iPhone service. <laughs> with perfect connection, perfect service. Why am I crafting all this stuff and really getting. If you just buy it online. Just like, yeah, look yeah. it up. No, you're reduced Maybe to that's five an apps. Option, you know? You're reduced to five apps until you've been good enough with your Nook Miles, then we'll give you internet. Real internet. Then we'll give you crazy reads, <laughs> eBay. <laughs> crazy <service>. Red. Where's <laughs> Crazy Red? <laughs> Where does he come in? It'd be fun if when you start your game, there was like a good chance to get him instead of Tom Nook. And you're just like screwed because he rips you off. Yeah, no, it's just fun. a one in, one in 100 chance when you start the game that it's Red instead of Tom Nook. Red's flight service and it just like <laughs> crashes in the middle of the ocean. You're going to have a much rougher time than with Tom Nook. But it'll be it'll be cheaper. It's just not yeah. gonna be all authentic. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is, but you have to spot the details. <laughs> you gotta walk around the plane and make sure like the engines aren't falling apart. Uh, what else? Oh, you can dig up clams for bait. Yeah. That's the thing. Fishing bait is a thing. So I guess it's probably just like you need to use this bait in, in order to get these certain fish. I kind of hope you don't need the bait. Because I liked not needing the bait. Well, I'm thinking but. you need the bait. It sounded like when they phrased it, is you need it for certain fish. Yeah. Like, these fish will only pop down on the clams. But where's the museum at? What am I catching yeah. these fish for? Exactly. I don't we want need the fish. A museum. But They're no, it's like, bladders. send them out to us. We'll, uh, we'll send a, a plane in. We'll pick yeah. them up. <laughs> Mail them to me. Imagine everyone is You can reduced. see them online. Everyone is reduced to an app. Ex- Isabel, you can just call for some therapy or something. Yeah, she's just like a... You just FaceTime. She's a hotline. Yeah. One thing I said is I do hope you can do a lot on the first day. Like, yeah. One thing with Animal Crossing, especially the earlier ones, is especially if you're working for Tom Nook, there's only so much you can do on mm-hmm. the first day. I want to be able to like pick this game up day one and be able to do a lot of stuff. Build my empire. And, like, be able to do stuff at all hours of the day, because mm-hmm. often if you go on really late, there's not much going on, that kind of thing. Well, Even I guess that is the out. one upside to crafting, that. Yeah. Because you can gather materials whenever you want. But can you go in Nook's tent at all hours? Maybe not, but I know there are other workbenches, eventually. Oh, yeah, I did see a workbench out. So, like, when... But... What does that leave Tom Nook with? It has to be like once his he upgrades or something. Yeah, he gives you the workbench recipe, and then he's not just there as a workbench. He actually maybe, maybe he's he a villager. See... He hang out. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gotta have a bigger town. But it would be nice if he just retired and had to meet yeah. and do everything. He <laughs> once he upgraded, it turns out he doubles the island size with his no mm-hmm. magic. And friendly. Yeah, I just I want to be able to. Go in and just like spend all day playing that. Mm-hmm. 
and make as much progress as I want yeah. on any given day. No, I'm excited for it, despite all the... I only have so many concerns because it's like you know, the most anticipated Switch title. So. And there's still a lot of question marks, so depending on how those question marks are answered, sure. that's... It can either be really good or terrible. Yeah, like I need to see some of the, our favorite people back. And you'd think favorite animals. They did delay it too, so you'd think there'd be something in the show. And if they were anticipating the launch of this thing earlier. Maybe there will be some sort of Animal Crossing Direct at some point. Yeah. I think. Probably with more Animal Crossing Direct where they announced the fourth Smash DLC fighter as Leaf. That's mm. why he's not in the game. No it's Smash. <laughs> KK Slider. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, it's a different. I think we've covered it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I wish, you know, doing that Dream Animal Crossing game video, I was going oh, into it. You got, you got some beeps and boops. Yeah, it does that. That's the only one that splits it into two files. Oh. But it will do that. Well, good luck. That's <laughs> what you're saying. There's going to be four different files. Your dream. Our Dream Animal Crossing game video, when I was doing that, I uh, envisioned not all of it happening, but I'm like, the standard, <laughs> I just want to see the standard of what I expected, yeah. and I'm not quite there yet. It so, is sort of a departure. So I just hope new that, horizons, but... I hope they do something good with it, mm-hmm. if it's a new opportunity. And it's got to be, like, enough, like, the crafting is enough. New Leaf did so much, and it was like mm-hmm. almost the definitive Animal Crossing. Yeah. That you almost should have. I expected them to take that as just a template and do that, but they really started. And just over. build off that, but if they're gonna. Yeah, they they're started they're starting from scratch, we're starting from scratch. Is this the Pokemon Let's Go of, of Animal Crossing? Perhaps. <laughs> like a little bit of a departure, technically, main line almost, but not quite. That's the vibe I'm getting here, but we'll see. I didn't, I didn't wait seven years for Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's uh, that's the only thing is we won't. If this not done well, we will not get another Animal Crossing next yeah. year. This is the Switch too. It's like it's yeah. handheld. It's console. It's all we really want. It's perfect for Animal Crossing. So they cannot mess it up. We'll have to wait another five years at least for another yeah. Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All right. Thank you for watching. Thanks for having me around. Animal Crossing fans, Animal Cro- Tom Nook stands. Tom Nook stands or Isabel plans? Isabel? You're all great. There are a lot of big <laughs> Isabel fans now. They are. I mean, look, Isabel, she's great. But my Wait. boy Tom Nook's been putting in the hours since day one. Tom Nook, I think, has the most, most depth. He's been looking after his nephews like his own children. Working them, giving them... He had to give up on his love relationship with Mabel. Which, you know, you learn more about that in City Folk. You know, he, he, he gave a lot for what he... He's not... He's a self-made man. But in New Horizons, we will realize, we'll find out, was it worth it? Just the horrors of what he's done. The qu- <laughs> While we were away these past six years, Tom Luck has done some, some dirty I things. I love if New Horizons was just focused on Tom Luck. Like, he is the center of he's everything. The like, the whole game... Yeah, you have a new island, you're starting things up, you're building, but really, the main through line of the plot yeah. is Tom Nook, as the complex individual he is, and like all the sacrifices he made, he'll come to terms with them, and, did, <laughs> and he'll, either, he'll either give up everything in the end, he'll be like, you know what, I've lost sight of what's really important to me. <laughs> and he just swims out into the sea, never to be seen again. Or he'll just keep going, and he'll go even bigger, and... And buy out everything. I think while we're distracted with this island, Tom Nook's gonna just own everything else. Yeah. The mainland is just Tom Nook land. I'm just leading into Animal Crossing Five. I'm just curious how we got. Guerrilla warfare. <laughs> how did we get from New Leaf to now? Where he's got a des- yeah, deserted island package. But not only does he have the package, he actually goes there and just is always standing in his yeah. tent next to a workbench. It's not like. He just is overseeing it. No, he just went all in with it. Like, he gave up his nice expanded mm. shop in the plaza. His luxuries. <laughs> to rough it on the woods with you. Almost as an expanded business business venture, but he's... Yeah, okay. Well, that's yep. it. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs>